and this is where it gets exciting. Because the market has not moved very much over the last 12 years, in fact, it's mo virtually moved sideways, and because the market keeps going higher and higher eventually, then it's due a move. It's a little bit like a staircase. It's got to, if it keeps going sideways, then it's got to move up eventually. And because it's due a move, this move could be uh, large, you know, over the next five to 10 years. That means that the probability of somebody making money over the next two years, I'd say is quite high. So even in, you know, people say, well, the current economic climate, last thing we should be doing is investing. You're saying, no, that's what we should be doing. Well, the thing is, the way that the market works, it works in cycles. It works in bull and bear cycles. So a bull market is an uptrending cycle, and they tend to last two to four years. A bear market is when the market goes down, and they tend to last about nine to 18 months. So the bull markets are a lot much longer. The bear markets are shorter. We've just gone through a bear market. And what happens when there's a bear market, a lot of people are very negative. All the media are very negative. But what they um, don't realize, a lot of people, is that when pessimism, when it, there's, a, there's so much negativity, that's the time when stock markets bottom and start then a new uptrend. So to give you an example of that, over the last seven and a half months, my portfolio, our client's portfolio, have made 55.9%. Now, that's not to brag or boast of anything like that. It's just to prove a point, and that is that even though the media would have you believe that it's all doom and gloom and that, that, you know, that the world is going to end, it's actually a really good time. And that performance over that period of time is saying that the market could be much stronger than most people actually believe.